Hello, everyone, and thank you for inviting me to join you today. I'm Congresswoman Teresa Ledger Fernandez, representing the beautiful and beautifully diverse 3rd Congressional District of New Mexico. Growing up in New Mexico meant growing up surrounded by cultural and artistic expression. Muralists, poetas, and musicos streamed in and out of our home and community when I was a child. They helped me understand that I was part of something larger, of a larger community, a larger Latino culture. We were proud of our herencia, our heritage. Even though we didn't have a ton of material wealth, we had the riches of music and poetry. Santa Fe thrives with huge artistic markets, the Spanish market, the Indian market, the folk art market. In New Mexico, we are fortunate to have the highest number of creatives per, per capita of any state. In fact, one in 10 paychecks in the state of New Mexico is tied to the arts. People across the globe take part in the art, music, and film that is created right here in the United States. But like so many, the pandemic deeply impacted our artists. We lost an estimated $15.2 billion in the arts and cultural sector alone. At the height of the pandemic last year, 63% of creative workers experienced unemployment. Our creative economy is essential to our nation's economy and to our shared history. I believe we have the responsibility to help artists and creatives recover from the pandemic just as much as every other worker and business. Decades ago, the federal government created the Works Progress Administration to employ muralists, photographers, and artists whose beautiful creations during the depression still inspire us today. Our federal government recognized the value of art as we recovered from the Great Depression. I'm committed to making sure we do that again now as we recover from this pandemic. We desperately need to be reminded of our cultures, our shared experience, and what binds us together as Americans. We need to invest in the creative economy like we did with the WPA as we rebuild and reimagine our communities. I'm working on legislation to do exactly this. The first bill, which will be introduced shortly, will create a grants program through the Department of Labor in consultation with the NEA. Similar to the WPA's Federal Project One, my bill will require that grantees create art that is public and accessible to the entire community. Just as the WPA brought us artists and artworks that inspired Americans for generations, this new WPA for today will do the same. Following the depression, corridos, sung storytelling, and Appalachian songs were collected equally and are now available for future generations, whether you're in West Virginia or New Mexico. Similarly, we will create and preserve the distinct stories, songs, and artworks of today for future generations across the many distinct communities of this great nation. Separately, I'm working on an initiative inspired by my beautiful New Mexico. It would be lasting investment to the arts and permanently by setting aside a portion of federal infrastructure funding specifically for the arts. In New Mexico, we set aside 1% of capital infrastructure spending for the arts on that project. Setting aside a percentage for artistic representation in the communities where we are building back would allow us to build back beautifully. It would recognize that arts and culture are an essential part of American infrastructure. As Amanda Garman put it at President Biden's inauguration, being American is more than a pride we inherit, it's the past we step into and how we repair it. Our culture and our history are embedded in the arts. We need them to bring us together. That's what turns a town into a community. I'm grateful for everything you all do and look forward to seeing what our artists and creatives across the country create as we repair our nation. Muchísimas gracias.